Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day nine. No, yeah, day nine of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, yeah, man, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a very rough day. Um, just busy, busy, but also the stock market has just been nuts. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll talk about it another time. I don't think I'm ready to talk about it yet. I just, and it's still ongoing kind of right so um but i did cut a lot of my losses in the sense that i cannot improve on them but you know at least it can be worse so uh yeah not good so uh yeah but you know sometimes life is funny like that you know um i don't know <laughs> life is just funny like that i suppose uh, i thought i was doing very well and i was until i wasn't uh, and I'm still okay. Don't get me wrong. I'm still pretty, pretty, pretty okay. Pretty happy, uh, ish for the most part. Um, but stock market just been nuts. Uh, don't use leverage kits. Anyway, let's take a look at today's problem. We have thirty three seventy five minimum operations to make a way wow is equal to k. All right. So you have an integer array nums and an integer k. Okay. An integer h is what if all values in a way that are strictly greater than h are identical. Okay. So you have this, 9 is good, okay. Uh, set a number h for each index. Okay, you're allowed to perform operations, okay. Select h, that is routed for the current values nums. What does that mean? What's about it? Oh, if it's strictly greater than, okay. So, I mean, this is supposed to be easy, but I'm just having trouble reading. So, okay, for each i, set, okay, so basically, Oh, I see. And that could, and this rather number um, can be equal to other number because of the strictly number. So then it just becomes a sorting problem, right? Because basically one step at a time, you can only go down one step at a time because almost like, okay, you, you sort them, you group all the identical numbers together, and then the next number after that... Um, would, would, would make all the numbers equal, meaning that now you're, you're like almost down one ladder, right? And then you keep on doing it that way. So, okay. So, I think that's pretty straight. What's K again? Oh, oh. It's not to make them all the same. It's to make them all the same equal to K. Okay. Uh, okay. Sounds reasonable. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so then here, then, I mean, it's still the same thing. It's just that, okay, if uh, any x is less than k. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Right? Basically, if there are any numbers smaller than k, then we return negative 1 because, well, if it's smaller, then you cannot set it higher, right, in this relationship. Otherwise, we just sort... <laughs> and we don't actually even need to sort because you know you're going to do them in order, but it doesn't matter what number, what order. Um, so you just have to count the number of distinct numbers, right? So you can do something like set of x is greater than... Ooh. Sorry, man. I'm just very allergic to something today. But that's basically the idea, hopefully. And maybe not. Uh, K is 1. Oh, this returns... Um, uh, this returns a boolean, that's why. Whoops. Sloppy. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. That, that is all I have for this one. I mean, I don't think this one's too difficult. And honestly, maybe today I'm just a little bit off. But yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And there's no sorting anything. So this is just linear time, linear space. And yeah, that is all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.